These hatchlings may look like your average baby saltwater crocodile, but they're a sign change is afoot. They come from a nest found just hundreds of metres from suburban homes in the top end. We were surprised finding the nest there. We never expected. The nest was found near this creek in Darwin's satellite city, Palmerston. Wildlife rangers say a woman was collecting pandanus leaves when she made the surprising discovery. Yeah, it was right here, Boo. There's not much left. It's washed away now. A second nest was found on the outskirts of the Darwin suburb of Lianya. This is the first time um, that I'm aware of that there's been crocodile nests recorded in these two areas. To understand why crocodiles have begun breeding around urban areas, scientists are looking at the hatchlings' DNA. They'll refer to a genetic database they're building of salties in the north. If the nest was made by the female coming from another river, we should be able to find out her origin. We're seeing lots of cool new genetic tools where we can do much more monitoring of the crocodile population with genetics these days. Come on, settle down. Authorities are on alert, but say it's not enough to trigger a review of the government's crocodile management program and the removal of salties from Darwin Harbour. It's certainly a sign that we need to be thinking about what might be going on with crocodile populations in and around Darwin. They'll be watching to see if these baby crocs get brothers or sisters this coming nesting season. Emma Masters, ABC News.